Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today is going to be something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be reviewing all of the sharpeners that I've used so far for pastel pencils. Now if you use pastel pencils you'll know that one of the biggest banes of our lives is trying to keep them sharp. Now I got to the point where I was I was I got I bought a really big um, electric sharpener like it was a bit like this with a rotary blade which means the circular ones that rotary around the pencil and um, it was like something like hundred pound and it blunted after about ten pencils um, and the blades were so expensive to replace so I just basically just sent it back and said it's ridiculous but um, yeah it pretty much happens with all of these any pastel pencil because of the dust in them it's gonna really quickly blunt any blade that you use. So the problem is to try and find some sharpeners that are, you know, sharp enough to get that really sharp point on your pastel pencils, but also aren't too expensive to replace or, you know, get a new blade for. And these are the ones I've found so far that I really love. The alternative method would be to use a blade and some, so your blade to scrape off. Let me just show you one. A lot of artists do this, but um, personally, I find it so much hassle and it really starts hurting my thumbs after a while. So you basically just take the wooden casing off and you can do it really down low so you can get that sharp point. And then just rub the end on the pencil. And you can, you can keep going until you get a really sharp point, but I started doing that and it just took so long and it's just not for me. <laughs> I like to save time because everything takes long enough as it is. So I started on the quest to find a sharpener that gave similar results to that electric sharpener, which was a Jacquard electric sharpener. And I've come across these. So let's start with the basics. This is a Stabilo Carbothello sharpener and it's specifically made for the Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils. It's got a perfectly shaped hole, and this is a brand new one, so please excuse that I'm just sharpening onto a table. I know that that will make some people uncomfortable. <laughs> As you can see, it gives a really great sharp point. I usually just buy it, they're only like £2 or something, so every time I make a Jackson's Alt order, I just buy a few of these, and it's really cheap. You probably get for about... I'd say 50 sharpens with this, with the Carbofello pencils, um, but none of the other Faber-Castell or Parent Dash will fit into that sharpener, so that's just purely for these, and I'll always use that for these. Saves, you know, ruining the rotary sharpeners with those blades. Um, now let me show you a Carbofello in... The Swordfish. Now this is my favourite of all. So I'll begin with this. Um, it's basically a rotary sharpener. I've just showed you the footage of changing the blade. So this is going to be a brand new blade in here. Now the blades last around... Oh, I say I get one a month. But that's... I'm not always doing pastel commissions. It's sometimes coloured pencil, it's sometimes graphite. So every month or so I just buy another blade for this and I think they're £6.80 on Amazon which isn't bad considering the ease of it and look at that look at that point so as you can see it's really good quality sharpener you've also got this little thing that keeps all the sharpenings in which I always let overfill and it always explodes so oh and this also has a crank on the back which is really helpful. For example, this one doesn't, and you have to kind of hold it and it's all like faffy. But yeah, going on to this one, um, this is actually a two pound Tesco buy. A friend on Instagram told me about it, um, and it's so cool, it's literally the same mechanism as the swordfish in the back. So it's just a rotary again. And for two pounds, you really can't beat it, to be honest. The only annoying thing is you obviously can't change the blades in them and they don't last very long, especially with pastels. So you have to hold it like this. They're pretty cute as well. <laughs> I had a piggy one as well and it only lasts about 
oh, I don't know, I'd say about 30 pencils it was good for. But that wasn't just pastel pencils. So, um, yeah, look at that. For £2, you really can't complain. But um, the only the only concern with this is that it's obviously plastic and if you're buying a new one every like 30 pencils or so that's a lot of waste you're going to get through and it also doesn't have the clamp so that's a minus point but yeah definitely consider this if you do see one in Tesco they're in the kids arts and crafts section so yeah I definitely do recommend them this was my piggy version and he lasted me quite a while and I, d I still don't want to get rid of him <laughs> He's too cute to get rid of. How am I going to throw him in the bin? Hmm, I don't know. I'll find another use for him. Maybe I'll put him in a plant pot. Maybe not. And on to the next rotary style sharpener. This is the Derwent Super Point. Also has a clamp on the back that you can clamp for the table, which is, again, very helpful. Has a really big tank here for the sharpenings. But I can't get out. <laughs> The reason I don't use this one, it was fantastic for colour pencils especially, and pastels. But obviously the blade's blunt now, and you can't, I can't find anywhere in England to buy the replacement blades for it. So yeah, that's, that's quite annoying, but um, let me just give you an example. This is a Carbothello pencil. Yeah, it's completely gone now, it's just been sitting on my other desk for a while, because it just blade is completely blunt but um yeah if you can get your hands on the replacement blades for these they are fantastic but at the same time this is just as good now this is just your bog standard metal sharpener the ones we had in school i do normally buy a few of these every time i do a an order because they're only like a pound and they're good to just have in case you haven't got anything else. And I use these for my graphite pencils as well. Yeah, I'm just going to test some of these pencils on this paper. Just a few little details on pastel matte paper and that tip is sanded down again. So there are, there are occasions where I'll use the sandpaper just to redefine that point on the end of the pencil for some details. but. For the most part, with pastel drawings, you don't need a ridiculously sharp point. However, I am just about to do this commission here. And it's it's really um, small scale, it's A5. So I will need some really sharp pencils for this, especially with the details and the eyes and stuff. I've done a roundup here of all three sharpeners and how they've sharpened each brand. So we've got Carbothello. Um, Caran d'Ache, I can't remember what they're called now, but Caran d'Ache pastel pencils. And then we've got Faber-Castell pastel pencils. I'd say I use um, Carbothello, actually I'll probably use them all equally to be honest. Um, and there's also, some of you might use these, they're Conte Paris pastel pencils, they're really nice soft pastel. Um, but none of these sharpeners actually fit these in there, apart from this one. So let's start on this end. Sorry about the dirtiness of my table. This one, as you can see, there's a casualty here. <laughs> the Contair Paris pencil did not survive this sharpener. And it's the only one with a hole big enough that fits these in, but they're so soft that they just break. So the Contair Paris pencils are the ones that I will use with maybe a knife and sandpaper. I haven't actually used them that much. So, um, yeah, I'll have to see if I can find anything else for them. I think there are crank, sh crank sharpeners that have two different holes as well, so you could look into that. Um, but this is the Stabilo Carbothello sharpener. And as you can see, it sharpens the Carbothellos brilliantly. And it also fits the Faber-Castell pastel pencils, and that sharpens it quite well. And here we have the Tiger. The Caran d'Ache pastel pencils did not fit in there at all. Um, well, they did fit in there, but it just didn't, didn't seem to do anything, which was weird. The Carbothellos are nicely sharpened, and the Faber-Castell pit pastels are also nicely sharpened. 
And here we have the winner. So this is the Faber Castell Pit Pastel. As you can see, the, the points are so long and sharp and lovely. So I would definitely suggest getting the Swordfish. And this is the Icon. So I think it's just the first one that comes up on Google, I think. Swordfish Icon, yeah. So there we have our roundup. I hope you guys have found this useful. Um, I'm going to insert a little video of me changing the blade for this. As you can see, it's really easy. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any other sharpeners that you want me to try or that you try and they're really good. I'll always welcome new sharpening tools. So hope you found this useful, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, stay tuned for after this video, I've put in a little bonus tip that I just came up with. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, all you do is unscrew it and then unscrew the blade from the cap. Um, I'd recommend using a like tea towel or something just to grab it with. I didn't do that here because I'm silly. And then you get out the new fresh, fresh one and just screw that back in just as you unscrew the other one and then you just pop it back in the sharpener so it's really easy when you remember how to do it bonus tip take a coffee pot a Nescaf coffee pot or whatever you like it has to have like a tin side though so you can bend it a little bit on one side and then take some Gorilla Tape or cheaper alternative stick that to that and then stick it to the table <laughs> and then you can just put your sharpeners in there and then sharpen all the sharpeners into the pot Keeps things tidy, even though my desk isn't tidy. But give that a go. And also, I stick it to the table when I'm working. Amazing to stop your pencils rolling off the table. Which is literally the bane of my life. It's, it's like a bit sticky, but once it loses its tack a bit, it just like stops your pencils from rolling off the table so much. So I put some along the bottom edge. Try it out. It might change your life.